Hello everybody and welcome to my first YouTube video. My name is Andrew and this is Nitwick Gaming. Now I know Dark Souls playthroughs have been done a thousand times before, but um, I'm new and uh, I'm hoping that my familiarity with this game will mean that my commentary is slightly better than it would otherwise be. Uh, I'm starting this channel because I'm interested in, uh, well, audience interaction really, uh, because <laughs> I've been talking about games with my friends for years and years and I feel like they just aren't on my wavelength. And I'd like to uh, to get a bit of interaction with, with people out there who actually, you know, like games as much as I do. Anyway, um, so I'm hoping you'll put up with the fact that, you know, Dark Souls has been done, but just uh, bear with me and tell me, you know, what you think of the uh, of the, the playthrough itself, what you think of my commentary, and any tips or perhaps game requests that you have for the future. Anyway, so I'm going to start this off uh, by prefacing that I am not by any means, uh, you know, uh, pro at this game. I am uh, good enough. I finished it twice, uh, although admittedly with some grinding in my first playthrough. But um, but I am by no means an epic name bro or anything like that. I'm not as good as them. Uh, anyway, let's name ourselves Job. Uh, oh, uh, if anyone's seen Arrested Development, they'll know what I'm about to do. Um, <laughs> Yes, I know my own name. Um, uh, let's go Swordsman because I haven't done that yet. And also because I am a scrub, I'm going to be taking Healing Wares. Uh, let's go with... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, Job's here to save the world. Excellent. This is great. Awesome, all right. People come. Yep. They all come here to see Job. Uh, right. Yeah, so Dark Souls 2, uh, I mean, obviously, I loved Dark Souls 1, and Dark Souls 2, when it came out, I was really excited. And I do love the game, it's a great game. I do feel like some things they, they missed from the first game, and some things they definitely improved. The handling, the combat handling, is so much better in this game, I find, anyway, that's my opinion. But um, I find it so much better. Except for one thing, the hitboxes on certain enemies, like this guy, um, are a little deceptive, I find. Those swings of his can get you from miles away. Ooh, ooh, yeah, lie down. Slap. Um, which, which made me think that perhaps this was a pretty nasty, whoop, uh, pretty nasty uh, enemy to start off the game with. Sit on me. There we go. What did sit on me? Just sit. Sit. Yeah. That is. Oh. Stabby. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, that was foolish. I am a moron. This has started really badly. What? Stab. 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 Uh, but yeah, so I thought this was maybe a bit of a cruel um, starting enemy because obviously, you know, your initial player is going to go, "Ooh, look at the footsteps and follow up here," and I know that's the point. But um, I feel like they maybe could have worked on the hitboxes for those hands uh, if it's going to be an opening enemy. But uh, again, I mean, this is Dark Souls and it prides itself on being cruel, a cruel and dirty mistress. Um, anyway, I've never played the Swordsman before, as in I've never played a, uh, a dual-wielding build. Uh, so you'll have to bear with me a little bit. Um, of course, the fact that everyone's done a Dark Souls playthrough before means I don't have to point out rings, and I don't have to point out what I'm doing. Uh, I will I will mention if I do something specific that might not make sense. Um, but generally, I am not, you know, I don't min-max, and I'm not... Uh, PvP is not my thing. Uh, I mean, obviously I play, you can't really avoid it in this game, but... Um, but uh, I... <laughs> I suck, man. I really suck. So uh, if I get invaded in this playthrough, um, you're all going to see how badly I suck. Which I'm quite looking forward to. Um, hello. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Andrew, the whole 
Like, YouTube's watching, what are you doing? Um, so, this nice little tutorial area, I mean, I'm just doing it for the souls, really. Uh, but, um, I may very well speed this up so you might never hear this. But, uh, but basically this video is really a test of my audio equipment and, you know, what my voice sounds like on, um, on a recording. Uh, and just to make sure everything works. I have actually done this video effectively once before, but uh, my microphone picked up nothing, so that's exactly what this sort of thing is supposed to catch. So, um, I mean, that was really, I mean, a major error, but that sort of thing is exactly what I'm trying to avoid or work out the kinks in the system, basically, um, by doing this. So, and also, I mean, I'm starting, or at least what I hope to do is I hope to start uh, this channel off with with Dark Souls and um, and KSP, uh, Kerbal Space Program, because those are two of my favorite games, uh, or at least two of my favorite most recent games, and um, and I figure you know why not play something you like, but. Um, I'm very open to trying out new things. If anyone has any suggestions for games that, you know, might make a good series, then I'm very happy to, um, to, <laughs> all right, uh, to, no, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by the little voices. Is it smooth? Yeah, it is, of course it is. Give it a, yeah, yeah. Oh, Monday to Well, that's freaking useless. Um, Oh god, oh no. <laughs> okay, well, at least I kicked down the ladder. Uh, I forgot you had to kick that first. Oh, that's stupid. Well, death number one. I might start up a little death counter in the top right or something, if I can work out how to do that. Uh, as I said, I am still learning. Uh, anyway, right, well, that was embarrassing. Um, hmm. Let's go get those souls back. And obviously, if you spot anything I miss, uh, please forgive me. I haven't played this game in a while. And uh, it, believe me, it's very embarrassing for me if I miss anything. Because I know someone on the internet will pick it up and complain at me. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Hello. The main reason why I've never played the swordsman before is because normally I'm one of those people uh, who uh, turtles up with a hundred resist shield and uh, sort of just tries to get behind others. But um, and I, I'm you know I, I can dodge, but I've uh, I've always been more reliant on the shield because frankly I'm not very good at dodging. Uh, so I figured it was more reliable. The amount of times that jump got me the first time uh, I played this game, Jesus Christ. Like, ugh, ugh, ugh. And I forced myself to practice it by going over and over it. Oh, I can't damage it. Oh, God. Ooh, right, okay, okay. Grab control. Or not, maybe. Well, that was painful. Drinkies? Oh, not drinkies. Yellow stone of healing. Whatever you call it. Life gem. And here's a little item I won't be using for a while unless I, <laughs> I feel the need to show off how bad I am at PvP. But yeah, so I thought this was this was quite a nice area. It was um it clearly draws you onwards towards that crack and light over there. It's sort of reminiscent, the, the trees are sort of reminiscent of the uh, the arch trees from the first game. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what they're going for, but it certainly evokes it for me. Um, and it really, you know, it does feel like a place between worlds, things betwixt and all that. Um, oh, I'm so beautiful, look at me. Kick it, kick it, oh no, get shot with an arrow, great. Maybe this will just be a, uh, an entire playthrough of me just getting slaughtered all the time because from the amount of times I'm getting hit by these early enemies, I think it might be. Yo! Stabby. 
Shoot you with an arrow, come on, shoot it, so I don't get hit going up that ladder, thank you. But yeah, so I've, uh, I haven't played the, uh, the DLCs yet, and I'm really looking forward to getting to that point on this playthrough, because, um, because that'll be the first point at which I'm really put up against something that I'm not familiar with, uh, in front of you guys. Oh, that was the wrong time to do that. Hey, buddy. Oh, wow. I tried to be clever. Dark Souls tends to punish me whenever I try to, you know, whenever I'm cocky, basically. Uh, I'll kick this down. And these guys. This. This. Bugger. I'm sorry, maybe I should keep the staring to a minimum, I don't know. Oh, no. No, I'm not going to keep the staring to a minimum because things like that are going to happen. And I'm going to want to swear at them. Oh wow, you're so pretty, Fall. Hmm. Shake it. Oh no. Oh, that was a mistake. Run, 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 run. You know, this went so much better the first time I did this. It's just a pity there was no sound. Come on, twins. Let's go. God, they are ugly. I once knew a guy that looked much like that. His name was Tony. Tony, if you're watching. You look like that. Ugly. Oh, that belly. That belly. I'm not fighting you here. Come on. Go home. Do your little waddle backwards. There we go. Yeah, sit on me. Sit on me. Yeah. Oh, there you Or you can do that. I don't mind. so many life gems on these things. Ah, good shot, sir. Fall over. Die. Or not. Fall over. Stabby. Stabby. Run. Ah, I thought you'd fallen off the world then. That would have been much, much better. How much up and down that's a play. Oh, that friend's just standing over there. Oh, no, no, it's way too soon. Come hither. Look at my moves. These moves. Oh, twice. I have no moves. No. So eager to come get me. Come on, boys. Let's go. Or girls. Maybe they're girls. Maybe they're female. I pity that species. Wow. <laughs> I like what you've done with your hair, girl. Nope. Oh, wow. That hitbox. Life gem. Ooh. Really? You're gonna try? No. Good, good. Yes, go home. Go home. Back to your lake. Really, I want to get the guy behind you because he's got lower health, but whatever. Come on. Come on. Swing for me. That belly. No. Hmm, really? Can you come this far? Wow, you can. No, you can't come on the log, can you? This is where bows are useful, or just, you know, anything but these swords. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. Sit. No, okay, fine. Get down. Thank you, sir. Gotcha. They take so long to kill. My god. Where is that one going? Come back. Fight me. But yeah, so in Dark Souls 2, I feel like the combat is certainly smoother. I do wish they'd retained a bit of the enemy diversity they had in the first game, because... Well, maybe that's not true. I mean, enemy diversity in the first game wasn't really that much of an issue. 
uh, and neither was it that impressive. But because I'd never really played, or at least I hadn't played for a very long time, a game that was that hard, um, the enemies felt fresh and challenging and interesting. But now, I mean, lots of the enemies in Dark Souls 2 seem to be riffs on the same thing. Uh, I, knew, I mean, maybe they're just going with fantasy tropes, and in fact you can see that. I mean, dragons and trolls and, and undead and stuff like that. But I really, I mean, so many of the enemies, and especially the bosses, are so familiar from Dark Souls 1 that it sometimes feels a little bit disappointing. Like, I know the gaping dragon in Dark Souls 1 wasn't exactly mind-blowingly difficult. In fact, it was probably one of the easiest bosses in the game, in my opinion. They just, it just took a while to wear down if you didn't have a, uh, a two-handed strength weapon. I love these little messages. What have you said? <laughs> um, yeah, the, the gaping dragon, it wasn't challenging, but it was, it was, it was fearsome. I mean, the first time I, I played against that thing, uh, I thought that was awesome. I mean, it's an undead dragon that's a effectively one giant mouth. That's so cool. But, um, uh, where'd you go from here? Did we go down that way? Yeah. Um, but in this game, there was no real enemy that I actually, I stopped and I thought, wow, look at that, that's really cool, that I hadn't seen before. I mean, um, the, the ancient dragon's pretty cool, but again, it's just a dragon. Um, I mean, just a dragon, but, um, you know, it's, a, it's your stereotypical fantasy dragon. And, um, and I don't know, I feel like it was missing something, it was a bit, uh, uh, samey. But then again, they, there were so many improvements over the uh, first game that I just, uh, you know, I, I find it difficult to go back and play the first game now because because the combat in this is just so much smoother, I find. Um, the uh, And faster, actually. Uh, and I'm, to be honest, I love the new backstab animations and stuff. Anyway, let's go talk to the Emerald Herald and we can end the video. Are you um, or there? I am remain indeed. By your side till this frail hope shatters. I always find it quite unnerving in Dark you. Souls that none of the Let characters' mouths move. It's really creepy. It's like they're all tele um, telepathically communicating on, with each other. You made King Ven. Sweet. For me, we seek those who's there's. Speak into my mind. Oh, come on. To how. Upgrade me. Thank you. Um. Oh, no. And let's level up. And I'm going to do... What haven't I ever done? Um, I've never really done a dexterity build. So I guess that's perfect here. So I guess I'll be doing that. Um... I'm going to level up Vitality just a bit, because I like to have, you know, a little bit of armor, but otherwise we're going to go for Dexterity. And I don't know if I'm being stupid here, I don't min-max, and I have no idea what the best classes are, so please forgive me if I have offended you with my lack of knowledge, but I hope I will at least amuse you in some way by failing miserably later on, alright? Anyway, this has been uh, Nitwit Gaming, and I'm Andrew. I hope uh, you enjoyed this, and I'll see you around, guys.